Esta es una prueba del sistema de alerta de emergencias. Repetimos, esto es solo una prueba. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for coffee chaos, beginning at 9.23 a.m. and ending at 10.23 a.m. Coffee County Emergency Management Required Weekly Test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Oakland MI, beginning at 10.11 a.m. and ending at 10.26 a.m. This is required weekly test of the emergency alert system for Oakland County. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of North Dakota beginning at 11 o'clock a.m. and ending at 12 o'clock p.m. This is a required weekly test of the North Dakota Emergency Alert System. This concludes the test.
No action is necessary. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for Jackson OR, beginning at 11.15 a.m. and ending at 11.30 a.m. This is a test of the emergency alert system. This is only a test. No action is needed. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency activation system. This is only a test. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all of Virginia beginning at 11.34 a.m. and ending at 12.34 p.m. A required weekly test has been issued for all Virginia. Tune to your local TV or radio station. This is a test. The emergency alert system. This is only a test. This is a test of the emergency activation system. This is only a test. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. This is Franklin County Emergency Management conducting a required weekly test of the emergency alert system. If this were an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. The following tones will conclude this test. The civil authorities have issued a law enforcement warning for Clinton NY, beginning at 11.51 a.m. and ending at 12.51 p.m. False report for active shooter at Plattsburgh High School Be advised it is a false report. Superintendent Lebrun sent a district-wide message to parents and guardians. The Plattsburgh Police Chief York asks all to remain calm and await further messaging for review of event.
a quality receiver in good weather. The one that will be the the one that will be 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 the one that will the warning alarm tone will be activated for hazardous conditions. The station you are listening to, and the counties we alarm for, are listed in a statement at the top of each hour. This is a required weekly test. This is only a test. Renville the sound authorities have issued a required weekly test for all admission beginning at 12.56 p.m. and ending at 1.56 p.m. The civil authorities have issued a required weekly test for all emergency alert system originating from the Michigan State Police and Emergency Operations Center in Lansing. This is a test of the emergency alert emergency such as a tornado zone, toxic attraction release, nuclear plant incident test, widespread phone or power outage, or other state or local emergency that affects your safety, official message messages would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. I wind watch. For the following counties, in West Virginia, Boone, Clay, Jackson, Cunoff, Northwest Fayette, Northwest Nicholas, Northwest Raleigh, Rhone, Southeast Fayette and Southeast Raleigh. Issues at 2.53 p.m. Eastern Daylight Time. High wind watch in effect from Saturday morning through Saturday evening. What? Southwest wind 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour possible. Where? Portions of Central, Northeast, Northern, Southeast and Southern West Virginia. When? From Saturday morning through Saturday evening. Impacts. Damaging winds could blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are possible. Travel could be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. Monitor the latest forecasts and warnings for updates on this situation. Fasten loose objects or shelter objects in a safe location prior to the onset of winds. As we help your family find more jewelry alerts. This is only a test. This is not a virtual This is amazing. Back through these four sections of Matthew uh, 21, John 11, John 12, and Luke 19. Just this special message would have followed the alert tone. This concludes this test of the emergency alert system. Test, only a test, of the emergency alert system, from the Island County Department of Emergency Management. In the event of an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information. This is a test, only a test, of the emergency alert system, from the Island County Department of Emergency Management. In the event of an actual emergency, this system would bring you important information.
This is the National Weather Service Office in Honolulu, Hawaii. The preceding signal was a test of NOAA Weather Radio's public warning system. This is only a test. Tests of this signal are normally conducted every Wednesday between 11 a.m. and noon. If there's a threat of severe weather on the day of the test, it will be postponed to the next available fair weather day. For hazardous watches and warnings, the warning alarm tone will be activated for the following counties. In the KBA 99 listening area, Kauai, Honolulu, Maui, and Hawaii counties. In the WZ 2557 listening area, Kauai County. In the WWG 75 listening area, Maui, and Hawaii counties. In the WWG 27 listening area, Hawaii County. This concludes the weekly test. We now return to recorded programming. Advisory now in effect until 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday. High wind warning in effect from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday. What for the wind advisory? South winds 25 to 35 miles per hour with gusts up to 50 miles per hour. For the high wind warning, west winds 35 to 45 miles per hour with gusts up to 60 miles per hour expected. Where portions of South Central and Southeast Kansas. When, for the wind advisory, until 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday. The high wind warning, from 1 p.m. to 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday. Impacts, damaging winds will blow down trees and power lines. Widespread power outages are expected. Travel will be difficult, especially for high-profile vehicles. Additional details, secure loose items to ensure they do not become airborne. People should avoid being outside in forested areas and around trees and branches. If possible, remain in the lower levels of your home during the windstorm and avoid windows. Use caution if you must drive. Repeating, a high wind warning has been issued from 1 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday until 7 p.m. Central Daylight Time Friday for the following counties in Kansas, Chautauqua, Labette and Montgomery. Mosley, a black male, 2 years old, 2 feet tall, 30 pounds, brown hair and brown eyes, last seen in the area of the 11,600 block of 4th Street North in St. Petersburg, Florida. If you have any information on the whereabouts of this child, please contact the St. Petersburg Police Department at 7278937700. Pound Slimber.